All right, y'all, let's get into the parable of the garden because the garden can teach us a lot about the life we have and the lives around us. And um, the city we live in is kind of like a artificial garden in a way. There's local, there's state, there's national, and all these are coming together to form a system. Okay, and we need to learn how to operate under this system to be healthy. Okay, hell is here on earth. That's that hell. And you have that weeds, the weeds that grow in your garden. That's, oh, we do this, we do that. And it, it starts affecting you. All right. And some of these weeds are not necessarily weeds. They're beneficial plants. Some are non-beneficial plants. Some are looked at as weeds, but they're actually edible flowers and such. And um, these weeds have, have uh, been brainwashed into society to where people go and pluck them when they're actually good for you. And you can eat all parts of them and such, right? So with a garden, we can look in nature and we can see the desert, we can see the forest, we can see different types of climates. And these climates, and some of them um, have anaerobic conditions, some of them have aerobic conditions. And um, with these things, you have the living soil. And if you don't have the living soil, it takes the living soul, which is the man to come in and give it the synthetic nutrient, okay? So when man comes in and gives the synthetic nutrient, there is a time and a place for this kind of life, but it cannot be sustained, all right? And you can rebuild this land where the minerals are locked up by adding living components, okay? And this living components will help break up those minerals and make it available to the plants to grow, all right? So with synthetic soil, you're gonna get more vitamin uh, and uh, mineral deficiencies. You have to always be there. There's gonna be more weeds. Um, there's not going to be a cover crop to cover up your uh, dirt and your ground. And uh, it just takes a lot more work, all right, to do that synthetic crop. You can start mixing in living soil components and do natural, um, natural fertilization or you can do a living crop kind of Jadam style, the J. Adams style, that um, where you were uh, more of like your biodynamic or your Hugo culture kind of thing, where it, it takes a lot of work at first, the first year, it takes a lot and a lot of work, but then it takes less work and eventually the garden will take care of itself after a few years, okay? Um, in our society, we aren't doing a lot of the work at the beginning. We're doing a lot of the work, trying to do the work at the end when the tree's already grown up and these types of things. So it ends up making the farmer that produced that field ends up hating the crop he produced and he tries to go and chop down that cherry tree that he grew and that's where you get the father coming against the son or the the things that we're told about in scripture and, and these things have happened in end times and these times now because uh, the 80s and 90s were a test of this old generation in a matter of speaking um, the 60s and 70s were a test of the generation prior and these worked in uh, tandem to test the people and to bring in that age where we can do all things and that's what Jesus died for and that's what this internet brings to us and we can go in the spirit to do all things and do things in the mind and the 
do things in the mind, we do things in the body, so we can um, go experience the world and experience this, that, and the other without the consequence of the flesh. Okay, so this is where the sins being taken from the body and the flesh, where man is going to be able to restore the body and come to where we can live longer, like it tells us as well. All right, and then you have the AI coming in, collecting information from how people live and where they live and all this other stuff. And this is going to create um, a new heaven and a new earth. Um, so. The, the, the garden, we can bring these living soil components into our system. And there's different levels, okay? And the cover crops we use, um, we can do edible cover crops, or we can do edible crops that we're going to turn back into the compost and, and put them back into the soil and the ground and such to help bring life and things. So um, this is where... We take whatever so-called problems the world ha says that we have and we take them back and it makes us stronger, okay? It doesn't make us weaker. We don't have this depressant over us or this anxiety over us because of what we've done or how the world views whatever, okay? Um, you have to know that they're a product of brainwashing and you are up on the stand because they are the sheep, okay? Um, so, the living soil, the Jadam, these methods, they um, require some ferments, right? And uh, you gotta make some things, and uh, this will keep your, your garden pest free. And uh, it, it gives, it attracts to the garden what is beneficial and what is life and such because that is what is there. It's life. And um, the good with the bad and the bad with the good. But you have to know that... Um, like there's like a a farming rule, you know what I mean? That, that you're basically going to lose like 10% of your crop, okay? So this is kind of where um, Cain and Abel came in. And we see that with Cain and Abel, Cain, the keeper of the ground, Abel, the keeper of the sheep, as a as a sheep keeper, as somebody who keeps animals and such, you're not going to have um, the loss that you're going to have like a farmer. So this is where you get Cain and Abel. Uh, Cain is going to lose about 10% of his crop being a farmer, so he's not going to give away another 10% to his dad just because his dad says so or whatever, right? His dad's not doing the work. And this is kind of like that chicken who has the, the grain of wheat. Um, and she asked everybody if they want to help and nobody wants to help and the only time they want to help is when the bread is cooked and they, it needs to be eaten all right so um, same story uh, so Cain is that chicken that that girl all right <laughs> And uh, we see that Cain was cast out. Eve, she was cast out. All right. So um, either way, y'all, the synthetic lifestyle it will give life. It takes a lot more work, a lot more weeds, and if you don't pull the weeds you can just spray the chemicals those are those pills and shit that make you forget you got weeds 
and um, they make it to where you don't even have to really go out to the garden. You can just grow some shitty garden and they mask your garden and you don't know what the hell you're eating at that point because you're eating all this artificial synthetic whatever the hell is in the box. All right. So, um, the living soil is what Jesus came for. He came for the living. He didn't come for the dead. The dead is that synthetic garden that that is produced in the church, that's produced in the schools, that's produced in the universities, produced in the offices where you're stuck in that fucking cubicle. That cubicle is the same thing as an eight by eight cell in prison. You live in a prison and you're going from one cube to another cube to tap buttons all day or to push pencils or to say, hello, how are you? Can, are you looking for a mattress today? Or whatever people are doing in this society of America because it's just consumerism. And since it's just consumerism, we're not producing anything, so it's just set to boop, that kind of thing. But um, Jesus came for the living because the people under the law, the people, the Jew that's been scattered among everybody, they're the ones under the law saying, you can't do that. You can't do this, that, or the whatever. All right? And sometimes things align, sometimes they don't. But the world's giving you an artificial light. And um, the world's under the lie. The world believes the lie. And this light of the world, these words and stuff that run the news and stuff come in. And if there's not a filter on there, if people aren't thinking about it, they aren't seeking for truth, and when they're listening and absorbing these things, then they're, they're going to be taken away. And the channels, and these channels are part of the currencies and whatever, and these channels are filling up with a whole bunch of flows right now for um, that flood on earth in, in another uh, form and fashion. Um, but the church, the religions, they don't want you to have life. They want to set up rulers of darkness and, and the seven spirits of God, and they want to divide man, and they want to um, uh, tell you that you can't do this, that, and the other, and depending on which country you're in, it will depend on what you can do and all these other things. So no law is right, no country is right, and everybody's lifting up their own thing and pride and pride before the fall, and just keeps going, folks. But... Um, 